You know, it's pretty cool being cool, but unfortunately, not everybody can afford to be cool. Firstly, it takes a lot of dedication. It takes a lot of life changes, commitment, true commitment, not just the Oh, this is a good idea. This is something I want to do. And you kind of see it through halfway and then you find something else and you give up. It takes true dedication. Like, you know, I'm willing to take whatever I need to take. I'm willing to make whatever I need to make and do whatever I need to do to achieve this level of coolness. And that includes taking up the ass from time to time. You know, you, you, you never make an egg without breaking an omelet. You know, it's like you gotta make sacrifices. Without sacrifices, you you don't earn shit because you only earn as much as you put in, or as much as you take in. You hear me, dog? I know I had a pretty hard time here and there. I I took it hard. I gave it hard. But at the end of the day, you know what makes it worthwhile? Hmm? You know what makes it worth super duper while? It's a fact that at the end of it all, everyone looks back. Everyone looks back and they see you there. They see you right there. They see your face. And you're not just some guy passing by. You're not just some dude like, oh, I knew that guy from the past somewhere. Sound kind of familiar, but who the fuck is he? I don't give a shit. I don't know. It's, it's something else. It's that guy. That's the guy that took it. For us, he took it for the team, you know. He took it hard, and now, now he's giving it hard, and we're taking it hard. You know what I'm saying? And that's what life's about. It's about taking it hard, so you can give it hard. Now, a note should be taken. You can take it as hard as you want from as many people as you want, right? Take it, take it, take it, take it all over, like you're. Like you're a camera, an omni camera, taking pictures all over the world of everything all at once. Take it like a omni whore, right? But doesn't matter. It won't make a difference if you keep taking it, because you also need to have cool hair. Without cool hair, you won't make it nowhere in life, regardless of what you be taking from who. Hair, it's like the mane of a lion. You know, it shows to everyone in the jungle. That he is king shit, right? It shows what he's about, how much substance he has as a lion or as a man, right? Without a good set of hair, you you can do everything. You can get fucked, you can fuck. But without hair, you're like, like a hyena. And at the end of the day, all you're good for is a laugh. So preservation of hair. That shit's important, people. Don't dye your hair. 30,000 times in your gothic emo phase or whatever have you. It's good to be artistic and expressive with yourself, but if you overdo it, you will live to regret it when your hair starts receding and your head starts to reflect something like a moon, right? They say that the moon, you know, it steals the light from the sun. It's envious of the sun. The devil is envious of God, right? And it got cast down because it tried to compete out of jealousy for beauty, right? At the end of the day, the moon, it's fucking bald, all right? It has no hair. The sun, however, the sun has many rays that cast out far and wide. And you can see it. It's like hair, kind of. Come on, use your imagination. But at the end of the day, we've talked about taking it, giving it. These is what keep the cogs turning in the world. We've talked about having good hair, amongst other paramount issues. But the last thing you need to be super duper cool, well, you just need to have a huge cock. If you don't got no huge cock, doesn't matter how much hair you have, what you take, what you give, Sorry, buddy, but get back, get, get to the back of the line. You know what I'm saying? Because as they say, a man's cock is not the measure of his worth. 
but is a measure of how far he can venture into the cove of the woman and provide satisfaction via stimulus against the walls. And don't forget the G-spot, which you're not gonna reach if you're a measly three inches, fellas. Sorry, guys. Actually, I lie. You need to be three inches at least. If you're not three inches, at least, yeah, you might be looking into some kind of attachment setup I don't think exists yet, unfortunately. Whoops. Sucks to have bad genes. But seriously, be one with taking it up the ass from time to time when necessary. Get yourself an awesome flock of hair and head down to your nearest sex shop and buy yourself a penis enlarger. And that's all you need to know if you want to get yourself some of that action. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. Hey, thank you for watching How to Be Cool. And you know, if you're cool enough, you will follow the steps that I have thoroughly provided in great detail for you. Otherwise, step to the back of the line, fool. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying.